Hello everyone, this is Afri Design Studios. In this video, we shall be learning how to tag your, your doors and your windows, how to tag or label your doors and your windows. So what is the first thing you do? The first thing you do should be to make sure you are on the right or the appropriate level or floor plan. Then I want to begin with these very entrance doors. They are my door number one. So I click on this, right click, and click, and select, select all instances, visible in view. I click here. So when I do this, every door on this very flo uh, floor plan view that is sharing the same, uh, the same properties with this very door will be highlighted. If there are 20 of them here, that is sharing the same properties with this, they will all be highlighted simultaneously. They will all be highlighted at the same time. Then having done that, the next thing you do is to go to Annotate. Annotate tab. Click on Annotate. Then go to Tag All. Click on Tag All. Then come here and select Door. Door Tags. And click OK. It is going to, um, it's going to tag them. You can see the tags now. Having done this, you click modify to end. The next thing you do is to look for the second biggest door or the second in line. I choose this. I right click and select all instances visible in view. Since it is only this one that is having these properties, only this one will be selected. So the next thing I do is go to annotate tab. After going to annotate tab, the next thing I have to do is go to Tag All. After doing that, I select Door, Door Tags, and click OK. After doing that, then I can go to Modify and End. You can see this door is already tagged. Then I go for the, the fourth door, which is this. Click on the door. After clicking on the door, I go to Annotate tab, click on Annotate tab, after clicking on annotate tab, the next thing I have to do is go to tag all. Click on this. Select door tags and click OK. It will be tagged. The next thing I have to do again is to go to the last door. Select the door. Click on annotate. Select tag all. Then select door tags. And select apply and OK. The apply is not necessary. If you like, you can omit that and click OK. So the various doors here have been tagged. The next thing I have to do is to tag my windows. I look for the biggest window, which is this. I click on the window, I right click and Click on select all instances visible in view. This, this, and this will be highlighted. Then I go to annotate tab, click on it. Go to tag all, click on it. Come to window, this time around, not door anymore. Click on this arrow to scroll down. Select window tabs, click on it. And click OK. If you, if you don't if you don't want to click on apply no problems just click ok and they will all be tagged you can see it window 21 then the second window i have here is the toilet window i select this and go to go to annotate tab the next thing i do is to click tag all then i go to window select window tags and click ok it will be tagged. Then you can see that the tag is inside the room. I can click on it and use my arrow key and take it to the right hand side of the wall. After doing this, I do it to every other one that is falling inside. Okay. Okay. They are all okay now. The next thing I have to do is to change the shape of this tag. I want to make it circular i want to make it a circular tag what do i do 
to make it. But before I do that, before I do that, I would want to change the tag names. I want to change the tag names. Like this is my door one. So this is going to be D1, D1. And this is going to be D2. This will be D3. And this will be D4. So how do you change the names of the tag? You click on the door again. Click on the door, not on the tag. Take note of that. Click on the door, not on the tag. Then you scroll down here. You are going to see Mac. Click on the Mac and type D1. And click Apply. It is going to apply there. Do the same thing here. Click on the door. Click here. D1. Apply. It is going to warn you, it's going to bring out this warning. Elements have duplicate mark values. Elements have duplicate mark values. Click OK. It will apply. Go to the next one. Select the door and click on mark and type in D1. Sorry, D2. And click apply. It will apply automatically. Go to the third one, click on the door, not the tag, and select D3, and click Apply, and click Outside. Come to the last one, select the door, and type in D4, and click Outside. Haven't done this. Let's also change the window tags. This is my window one. I click on the window, not on the tag. Click here and type in W1. I click outside. Sorry. Let's do that again. Click here. W1. Okay. When you click outside or you... You either click outside or you click apply. But when you do that, it may not apply immediately. So what do you do next? The next thing you do is to go to edit type. Click on edit type and go to scroll down you see type mark here under identity data click inside this place and change that 21 to w1 and click ok it will change then having done that once this changes this will also change at the same time and this would also change at the same time so it's remaining this very window click on the window and go here and type in W2 and click apply. It will not change. Go to edit type and scroll down to identity data and click under uh, type mark. Select the number there and type in W2 and click OK. Then it would change. Now, the last thing to do before we go. You may want the shape of this tags to be circular. How do you achieve that? Click on the tag, go to Edit Family. Then, the next thing you do is, you can delete it one after the other, but I draw my shape first before deleting so that this would guide me. I want this to guide me in drawing my shape. So I go here, click on um, Line, click on Line. Then come here, under draw, click on circle. Then come to the middle of this. If I can not find the middle, I can just come here and draw a line. Where I draw a line. And now go back to circle. Then go to the middle of the line and click here and come like this. I may go a little bit above the line. Okay. Depending on what you want. If you want it smaller, you can make it smaller. If you want it bigger, you can make it bigger. So I want this size. I click here. Then I click on modify to end. Then I click on this line and delete. Click on this line and delete. Click on this line and delete. The same here. The same here. Same here. Same here. So, I have gotten my circular tag. The next thing I have to do is to go to load into project. Click on this and click OK. Then I select this, overwrite the existing version. 
so it will become circular. Then I do the same thing here for my door tags. Click on the tag, go to Edit Family, click on Line, click on Circle. No, but before that, I click on Line here to enable me to get the center. I click here, then I go to Circle, click on the middle of the line and drag it up above and click here. Then I click on Modify to End, click on this Arc and Delete. Click on this line and delete. Click on this arc and delete. Click on this arc and delete. Uh, the, the line, sorry. Click on this line and delete. Then this is my circular tag. I go to load into project. Click here and click OK. And select override the existing version. Click here. It will become circular. So this is how to change the, the, the shape of your tag. And in general, this is how to tag your, your doors and your windows. Thanks so much for watching this video. And thanks much, much more for subscribing to Afri Design YouTube channel. Also, endeavor to activate the notification button. What that would do is that each time we release a, a new video, you would be the first person to know about it. Thank you. I appreciate you.